Uh, so I was uh, I was working for Southwest Airlines uh, in Phoenix uh, at the station out there, and an opportunity came up to uh, to be the station leader over here. So I, I switched uh, switched jobs, switched states, and it's been awesome. So we were probably what four or five months in the club. We moved out here in May, uh, March of 2020. Uh, and we were probably, I think it was probably six months into COVID, and we're like, we got to find something to, to get involved in. Uh, and this was, you know, right here, and they had, they had just started doing services again. Um, and so we uh, we came out, and we really enjoyed the first couple services, and, and got hooked. So again, when we had moved, it was the beginning of the pandemic, very start of everything, all the craziness. And um, the first couple months that we lived out here, we didn't know anybody except our realtor and her family, and. Um, we really just wanted to get to know people and find friends. And so we came to church service and came in and automatically felt like we were, you know, welcomed and loved and uh, had some friends that reached out to us and were like, hey, join Life Group. You'll meet more people. And so we did. And it was good for these guys because we were able to, you know, little things from, hey, do you know what kind of doctor I need to find out here for this? And then it became more of um, prayers for our family and, um, help for our marriage, and I think it's important to find a community to really um, help you in that growth with your faith and, and with the surrounding world that we're in right now. It's nice to have like-minded people with us. We knew Jeff and Melissa, you know, very well, and I had kept up with them over the years. And then I had, uh, uh, we had watched online, and knew, you know, we felt like we knew the church and we almost felt like we was a part of it, just watching online. So we instantly knew where, where to come. Well, we kind of had a rough time when we moved here. We had a lot of life events that happened. So it was kind of hard for us to connect for a little bit, but. Yeah, it, it was tough. We uh, last July lost one of Sheila's uncles and very big part of the family, and he died early. Uh, about a month later, we lost her other uncle. And shortly after that, my dad passed away unexpectedly. It was at the same time that we were getting to be a part of the life groups that you take all of that that we went through, and we had prayer we knew we had prayer support with us, so that was a big part of getting through those difficult times was the connection with the life group. Yeah, I mean, they took us in and didn't skip a beat of the, you know, loving us and encouraging us and praying for us. We knew there was a big part of community that plays into the church. I mean, you can come on Sundays and that's a part, but the bigger part is the fellowship and getting to know each other in, in a in a good, strong companion way. It's just different to go to somebody's house and sit on a couch next to them face to face and get to know them. There's nothing like it. You cannot, you just can't quite get that on a Sunday in an hour at a service. We started last fall at the Peel Barn with Tommy. Uh, it was a very inviting, relaxed environment. The spring uh, semester this year, we were able to transition to our home and uh, able to maintain that same environment with our group, you know, make, make it welcoming for everyone. And we got to see one of the guys in our life group fully surrender his life to Christ. and. Uh, baptize here at church everything it's been it's been really good for us I think for me it was more about meeting like new people I'm not very outgoing or easy it's not easy for me to like you know make friends I think so um, we met a lot of really good people that we've developed friendships out of so that's nice yes yeah, so we have uh, quite a few younger families um, 20s early 30s in there but, uh, it's always great to connect with people and uh, dig into God's truth and promises and and like I say realize that you're not fighting this battle alone, you know, everyone's facing the same thing. It's always really comforting to know, you know, that God God still is alive and doing doing works to people. It seems like uh, the day leading up to Life Group, you know, the enemy tries to do what he can to, to destroy it, you know. Uh, Got to rush home, make sure the house is clean, you know, make sure uh, everyone's 
ready to go on the same page. And uh, but by the end of it, I mean, we're late coming to pick our kids up. You know, so it's everyone plugs in, and it's uh, it's a really good time. I highly encourage it. You know, we're not meant to do life alone. It's better together. Uh, helps our, our personal discipleship, our family discipleship, and then go out to the community and disciple that way. So it's been it's been good. Do it. Take the plunge. It's worth it. Well, we were looking for a church, and we just walked in one Sunday and loved it, and then went to the Pale Barn and with Tommy. And, and we were actually sitting at two separate tables, but then our groups ended up merging with another group, and it was totally a God thing. The way that God placed us together with a range of ages from 30s to 60s, uh, but having a lot in common. Uh, we feel like we've known each other for a lot longer than a few months because we didn't actually start meeting in our home until January. You know, together we're better. And with this group, and it's an eclectic group, and they're really good. They're You've got different personalities that offer different things, and, and it's just, it's so much fun. And we look forward to Wednesday nights just because they're all showing up. And and it's just one of those things that you you miss during the summer. And we meant to get together, but Jill broke her leg and uh, five places, 18 screws and two metal plates. and. Uh, but our group was phenomenal during that time. They brought food, they prayers, they were always checking on us, and, and, and we truly are better together because of this group. And what's been really cool is that some of us have children that are grown and are empty nest, or nearly empty nest, and then we have others that have children that are younger, and we've been able to kind of minister to each other as they've been in different stages and we're in different stages, uh, just from our experiences, younger to older and older to younger, just walking through life. We'd been here three or four or five times. Um, Chelsea signed us up after, you know, the life group message that they had one, one year. Um, they placed us in a really good group. Uh, it fit us perfectly. Oh, um, yeah. They're our best friends. They're the people that, they're your biggest cheerleaders and they're your prayer warriors. They're the people you go to when you're grieving and when you're celebrating and just to get daily advice, like, hey, how do I navigate this? How do I, <laughs> what should I do with my kids when they're acting out in this way? Or how should I respond to a certain friend in a certain situation? And it's just so great to have those people that can can comfort you and help nurture your relationship with Christ and then just give you good good advice. They seek biblical word to give you, you know, to help you get through those times. And that's been a blessing to us for sure. I, yeah. I think as soon as we we showed up to, to Life Group, we found out that half of them probably lived on our street, <laughs> um, if not just a couple blocks away. Uh, everybody had the same age group of kids. Um, we're all doing sports, you know, and they're in the fall and spring together. Um, so we see each other at life groups, see each other at practice, at games. Um, it's a great way, I, I guess, to uh, find those friends that you're going to be with, you know, while your, your kids are in school here. and um, You're going to be able to do life with them for many years to come. Yeah, I mean, we even do like birthday parties together, kids' birthday parties, dinners. Um, I feel like there's just an opportunity to always be together and make that time for each other. I feel like we text all throughout the week, check in on each other. We have a group me where we're constantly posting different things throughout the week of what's going on in everyone's lives. and. Um, so yeah, I feel like there's definitely opportunity, even outside of Life Group, that you're constantly just together too. So that makes it yeah, like family. <laughs> it kind of goes to what, you know, Jeff has preached about, about uh, when you get bumped, what, what spills out of your cup. And if you don't have, uh, if you don't have something constantly filling that cup up, then eventually what spills out, it's not gonna be very good. And Life Group, it, uh, it helps take care of that problem. If you don't feel connected right now, 
getting involved in a life group will most definitely help you feel connected and find your people um, within this church for sure.